good morning guys uh, so uh, last day i uploaded a video on index and match and uh, student has actually asked me to uh, you know uh, look out for these uh, values uh, you know against these dates actually so what we actually wanted to do is the question was uh, we need to uh, find out the time you know uh, for this let's say for the nitin uh, on 18th of feb what time he actually uh, came in you know and the data sheet is available here and we have the names here of all the employees with their employee codes and uh, this is exactly uh, day on day the you know uh, time chart for everybody i guess this is the login time or maybe the shift time what time they actually arrive arrived in office so uh, last night uh, i uploaded a video on the same uh, but now uh, my subscriber vishwajit he has again uh, reverted me back and saying that now can you please find the attach sheet and give the resolution so he modified his question and the question which he asked is now that he needs to get the data for those employees who actually uh, came after you know 9:30 a.m. in the morning i need to fetch data from a data sheet uh, mentioned for the dates wherein time is greater than 9:30 means wherein time is more than 9:30 will reflect data here for all the employees right so i have already uploaded this video uh, let me just show you uh, you can go to my excelvblover.com website which i have uh, launched uh, last last week and you can go there in the excel training and you can click on the video tutorial uh, you will see all these videos right the uh, these are the videos which i have uploaded so far right on uh, almost every every subject uh, of excel and uh, here uh, this is what exactly we have uh, so this is again repeated so i'll just delete that but you can check this video uh, this is more of like how you can solve this problem you know so this i uploaded here and uh, so what we did is let me just quickly uh, in case if you haven't watched that video uh, this is the video number uh, let me just show you uh, you can go to my this playlist index uh, here you'll find all my playlist and there you'll see this video number 122 right so video number 122 is the one which i uploaded yesterday and you can watch this video and you can you'll come to know what exactly i'm talking about right but uh, still uh, i will be very quick in uh, you know forming this index with match right in case if you want to take a you know uh, you want to actually get the understanding uh, the complete understanding starting from the scratch you can go and watch that video number 122 because i have spent almost like 15 20 minutes on that video uh, so uh so what we did is uh let me just remove this color so we uh, you know we found out the actually the row number and the column number the row number for this employee code and the uh column number for the date and why we did that because when you use the index function what happens in index you have a table and after that table you need to tell that on which row and on you know which column actually your value is you know uh, your value resides so you need to go for that combination for example in index if this is my table let's say and if i'm saying that go to the fourth row and let's say the second column so the intersection point which is this you know the b4 that's what exactly i'm looking forward to right so uh that's that's what we did uh, we simply uh, used here the row number parameter and here the column number parameter and uh, we use this match function so we said that we are looking for the position of this employee code in this table which starts from here a1 to a28 and give us the exact match so i have got the position of this employee code let me freeze the table and now let me drag this so wherever i have this name change the employee code change you can see here that i'm getting the position of this uh, divakar right so this is what i have got here now divakar if i start from my table from here you know the position for the divakar is 3 and the position for the nitin is 2 that's what i'm getting here right this is what we did actually last day and similarly you can now uh, use again the match function and uh, you can now use this match this value i need to look up in this table so i'll select this entire row 
Now you need to remember that match doesn't work if your table selection is more than two rows or two co or uh, not more than two rows, but in fact more than one row or one column. Depends how the data is going. If it is a horizontal, then obviously that means it should have only one row. If it is a vertical, then it should have only one column. That's why you can see here that my column starts from A and it uh, remains in the A only, right? Only the row number is changing. So the column is A. Similarly here we have this column a to a e so the row number is going to be like this a to a e right so that's that's something very important otherwise m the formula will give you the error so i'm going to press here dollar and let's track this now do one thing uh, to get the time you need to use this index so array means my table so i'll select my table right so i'll select my table and this time i'll put the row number so what is my row number? Uh, my row number is going to be this one and the column number is going to be I3 and press enter, right? So this is what I get uh, and uh, you have to f uh, freeze the table. You don't have to freeze the I3 and H3 because when you will drag it, it should be changed. Uh, so let me quickly drag this and go to the formatting part so click on the format cells right click or maybe you can use the shortcut key and this is what we did last day right now the question comes that if it is a time greater than 9 30 then it should not show up right so you can do one thing you can put the formula here if whatever the value this index will give of course which is going to be in the time format if if this value is uh, less than okay if this value is less than this which I have written here manually 930 right then what should happen then you should get the space otherwise this entire function will run so I'm just going to copy this sorry that has to be my selection and I'll copy this here right and press enter right and uh, now let us drag this uh, before that we need to uh, freeze this okay and uh, I guess we are good with this uh, maybe you can write here uh, not applicable okay and uh, so that's something we don't need index will work like this yeah right and now let's uh, I think we are done with this let's just track this right so I think every value is greater than uh, 930 so that's why I'm getting here you know uh, all these values so let us quickly go ahead and maybe ch try to change the value let's say for Nathan for 18th of Feb and 20th of Feb right so go back to the sheet Nathan is here and uh, the dates were 18th and 20th so 18 and 20th so we have the values here 18 is here so I'm gonna make this 8 831 which is shorter than 930 and similarly for this 9 uh, this is already 910 right so uh, 20th of Feb 20th of Feb was the date so let's make it again 833 right so you can see here that the formula is now giving us the not applicable result so that's how you can actually use this condition that the time is going to be greater than this so so whatever time we will put here it will work accordingly so I made it dynamic in case if you tomorrow want to change this time you want to compare let's say with the 1030 so just need to write 1030 here and now you can see that all the employees are falling in the not applicable uh, you know criteria which means that everybody actually has uh, you know uh, come your this uh, after 1030 right because what we are saying is that if my this index formula is less than G1 then it should say uh, not applicable so what it means actually is it means that every employee has uh, come before 930 in this scenario uh, after 930 I beg your pardon uh, so all of those who comes after 930 their time will show up and for those whose time is uh, before 930 then they will not show up right they are not applicable actually so that's what uh, we can do here uh, so if I change this to 1030 
then as you know that everybody has arrived before 10:30 so all would go in the not applicable category because it is going to find here this not applicable uh the condition is going to met here right so that's how you can do this or maybe in case if you just don't uh, if you do not want to uh, display this not applicable you can even leave the space here and now you can drag it so you will get the space here right so the moment i change this to let's say 830 uh i'll get all the numbers back because everybody has come after 830 right so for those who uh, came before 830 they are not going to show up here right so we know their time uh, the time is like for example uh, nitin has come uh, at 831 so let me do one thing let me change this to uh, 835 now see what will happen these two entries will be now removed now we have a formula here this is not a blank cell but the formula gives us this blank value right so this is actually very easy that's how you can uh, build up this index function with the if and uh, so if generally works how uh, if actually works on the two conditions you give the test here and then you say that if the test is going to be true then go to the true condition if it is not going to be true then go to the false condition so that's what we are saying here right our logical test actually says that this index will give us the value and whatever the value will come if it is going to be shorter than this g1 which is my 835 which is my time then i should actually get this you know space otherwise if it is not then i should actually immediately go ahead you know and give us um, and get the value back the time when he actually he or she came up right so uh, that's the video number um, 123 guys for you and i hope you like this uh, video and if you like the video don't forget to click on the like and do subscribe to my channel as well and uh, you can see all the videos here or uh, you can go to my website as i was telling you in this tutorial section you can you'll find this video on this index and uh, you can know all the other things as well uh, you can go through the you know uh, these are the online uh, demo videos which uh, which are there for you these are the free videos you can go through that if you like the concept do let me know about it as you know uh, i also give training online and uh, this is the vlook of videos uh, these are the super strong arrays very powerful technique uh, which we use in excel so you can uh, uh, you know uh, find out your this relevant subject and you can check the videos there and just just click on that link in case if you're looking for how you can remove the duplicate you can play this you know watch this video on the youtube or maybe on this website platform and these all videos are available in my youtube channel as well you just need to click on the playlist and this playlist will you know uh, take you to all my videos uh, like the videos on the conditional formatting the videos on the arrays the videos on the vlookup so i have everything almost covered for you and in the process of uploading some more great stuff right so we have the vba videos here as well vba arrays vba loops example so vba functions so whatever you, i mean to say you know you're looking forward to just go there and you can watch it right so that's it for now and i'll come up with some another video till then take care of yourself and have a happy learning bye bye